in today's video I'm going to show you how to beat zone in Madden 20. What's up guys my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Also if you enjoy this video be sure to subscribe to the channel and secondly I have a new discord channel that you can join where you can ask questions you can chat with me and all of that stuff so be sure to check that out that is in the description of this video you can click that join see you over there. All right, so let's jump into this. I'm in the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook, and I am working out of the shotgun doubles formation. Now, typically, I'm going to go to the doubles from an audible, right? I'm going to audible to it from the shotgun spread. But I want to show you this specific play that we're going to break down here. So I've got McCole Hardman in the slot, and I've got Tyreek Hill over here. The audibles you want to set up is you want to have the mesh, you want to have the weak flood, and then you want to have the angle smash, and then lastly, you want to have 94Y. Now, 94Y are, are the... The play that we're going to focus on today is we are going to focus on the mesh play. Now, you've probably heard me talk about this a million, 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 million times, but we're going to talk about it as it pertains to this specific formation. Because I run, I typically run the mesh out of the shotgun spread, but recently I found that the doubles mesh is the same exact mesh, and it's actually a little bit better because... Tyreek Hill is a little bit more outside, so you're going to motion him in two steps, snap the ball. You see he's going to be so wide out, and you can basically pass Lee to the outside, and you can swerve him in and out and be able to use or catch it. Now, what most defenses are going to do once they see you doing this is they're going to go to cover two, and they're going to go to Tampa two and run cloud flat. So I'm going to show you what happens here real quick. So if I pass lead him, you see they're going to be able to kind of take it away, right? And every now and then... Now, if you're on the if you're on the wide side of the field, right? If you're running this to the right, wide side of the field, you can actually fit that ball in there, but you can't really bank on that. And I want to give you some other things that you can utilize. So, what you're going to do in that situation is if they if they run cover two, if you motion him in just a little bit more, you're going to see you're going to have more space. This is really really important because if they show you cover two, you're going to motion him in more. Now, let me show you what they might do. What most defenses might do is they'll go say, okay, well, you can do that, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to base a line. If they base a line, check out what's going to happen here. You see how they're going to still be, they're going to be able to hang, right? They're going to be able to take it away. So it's essentially the only way that you're going to be able to run this specific corner route every single time is if they don't base the line. So he brings, and you can get him to come inside. Basically what it boils down to is, can you get outside leverage on Tyreek Hill? Can you get outside leverage on Tyreek Hill? Now, one way you could do that is you could just run him straight. You see it doesn't look as good against a cover four because of the way that the play the play works. Now, if I was in, let's just say I was in Tampa 2, and that's why when they base a line, if you look, when they base a line, if they base a line coverage, you're going to see I'm going to have a really hard time throwing this because there's just not enough sideline. There's just not enough sideline for me, right? That's the bottom line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a, another way to beat the same defense. So what I like to do is I'm going to motion Tyreek Hill in to the numbers, and then I'm going to snap it. Like I said, if they go with him, you can easily fit that in over and over again. But if they base the line, which they probably will if they're a good Madden player, then what that's going to mean is if they base the line, so if the cornerback does not go with Tyreek Hill, and you snap the ball and he sits out there, then you're going to just check down to these drags. What I like about the doubles is the tight end is unbumpable, right? The tight end is unbumpable. I had the really hard time of Tampa 2 because what was happening for me with Tampa 2 is what basically was happening is they were, in essence, man aligning. Now, you see here, if they man align, you're going to beat them with that, with that route to Tyreek Hill, right? So what they're going to have to do is they're going to base a line. And... Really, what's going to happen is they're going to probably press coverage, right? They're going to go um, to cover two, Tampa two. So they got the cloud flats on the outside. Now, let me show you really, 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 really quick here. If they go soft squat, right, they might go soft squat. So let me show you what happens when they go soft squat. If they're in a soft squat, you're going to see you're going to be able to, to basically zig it. You're going to essentially be able to fit that in. You're going to be able to throw that route. But what they're probably going to do is they're going to go cloud flat. If they go hard flat, let me just show you real briefly what happens if they go hard flat. So if they go hard flats, right, and you do your thing and you're going to go in, you're going to be able to throw it right over the top. Right in there, just like that. You're going to be able to swerve catch it. However, what they're probably, and then if they go to cover three, let me show you. So that was, we've shown you cover four. Let me show you cover four one more time. So this is cover four out of a baseline and press look, which you would probably never, ever, ever run baseline press against the Chiefs. But you see, you can still easily swerve him in and out, and you can get that possession catch on the sideline. 
What's also going to happen is if they go cover three sky drop, if you check this out, so he's going to come in, and you've got a now a guy in a curl flat zone. So I'm going to motion Tyreek Hill in, but you see I still have outside position, and so I can zig him in and out. As long as I have outside position, I'm going to win. However, if, if for whatever reason Tyreek Hill is covered and he is not able to get outside position, that's where the mesh routes come in. So here we go. You see I could throw to Tyreek Hill, but basically I'm going to just check down to these drags, and they are going to eat people alive. They literally are going to eat people alive. No matter what you do, your opponent will not be able to cover these drag routes. Now, if he does, and the only way that he could do it that I'm aware of is by shading the coverage down, and then manually putting your guy into a thing. What that's going to do is it's going to leave your running back open for an inside pass lead on the streak. That's why he's on a streak, right? So essentially what it's going to look like for your opponent to stop this is he's going to have to shade coverage down. He's going to have to put Selick in a, in a deep zone. He's going to have to put his outside guys in manual cloud flats, and then he's going to have to have a really good user, right? That's a, that's essentially what's going to have to happen. So let me show you what that would look like. This is, again, full-blown max coverage defense, right? We're motioning in. Oh, that is not open. That's not open. That's not open. Open, and then watch what's going to happen. That little guy is going to curl up and he's going to settle up a noose, right? Classic air raid. So your drags are going to not just work as a drag, but against zone, you see how that, see how I, if I don't pass lead, you don't want to pass lead these drags because if you pass lead them, it kind of gets them to me a little bit glitchy. But if you watch, watch the tight end. I can just throw it. It's wide open every time and there's nothing they can do about it let me show you cover three let's say hook curls so hook girls might have a might have a shot right might have a shot and they would have to do a lot of adjustments off of it but watch what happens still settles up still settles up and if i low pass lead that he's going to basically have a catch animation that he's going to be able to come underneath and catch that the good part about it is i can go both sides so they can't use it so let me show you this one more time so cover three and watch now i'm going to hit triangle so they maybe they go with maybe they go with x so here i'm just going to scramble out and then i can flip it in i can fit it in right there to triangle now if they come down and this is why it's really important to kind of understand, because basically what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to go hook curl, and then they're going to have, I mean, there's just a lot of adjustments they're going to have to do. And what's going to happen is, if they're not careful, they're going to leave themselves vulnerable over the middle of the field. So you'll see, I can pass lead to the right, and, um, and I can hit the running back right up the vertical seams. So essentially, there's levels to this whole play. There's a lot of different things you can do. But to me, this is probably, in my opinion, this is one of the best passes in the game because of that route right there and how powerful it is. And what's going to happen is what they'll try to do is, let's say they go cover three sky and they go and they do their thing. Well, your out route to the left side of the field, if you pass it down into the way, normally it's going to be um, wide open. I think there I, I missed it a little bit. But uh, let me show you here. We'll run through a couple of these sections. But that out route, pass lead hard left, hard left pass lead. Now, with the way he's got his defense structured, he's he's getting a little bit of better animation because of the fact that he's not blitzing anybody. If they set up blitzes and different things like that, they're going to be screwed. But here you see, same kind of thing. I'm just swerving him in and out and just getting that nice pocketed animation on the outside. So I can go right or I can go left. And when I go left... I'm not having as, as much success with that out route, but um, but normally what will happen is that out route will be wide open. Um, I could even move the running back around if I wanted to. I could do some different things. But you'll see here against cover four or cover three, the running back is going to sit. Basically against anything that they do, the running back is going to sit really, really well. Um with it so anyways guys that's step one to the doubles playbook that's how you beat zone defense and here's the deal it's just as good as it's just as good against man let me show you cover two man real real quick so if i run it against cover two man and i'm just gonna go you're gonna see that corner route is gonna typically beat it i didn't get a good animation there but you'll see it's gonna typically beat it right and again if they base the line Right. Let's just say they base a line, and then they're going to try to do this, and they're going to try to set up the blitz, and da 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 da. Right? That's what they're going to do. That's what they're going to start doing. So essentially, what's going to happen is you're not going to have the outside position anymore. Right? Well, you see here, even with a base line look, they still have that issue. They still have that issue. So let me just show you. So I'm going to walk this walk through this whole thing with you. So I'm going to base a line, and I'm going to press coverage. 
So standard standard baseline, standard press, right? That's my adjustments. So when I motion Tyreek Hill in, you're going to see he doesn't go with him. But if I roll out, now I might be able to fit that in. I didn't get a good animation there, which is no big deal. But when they base align and press, here's what it's going to leave your opponent susceptible to. Here's what's going to leave your opponent susceptible to. If I go to the play, um, da, 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 da. if I go to really any play, it doesn't really have to. It, we can just do it out of mesh. But if you see base align and press, if you see this look right here, right? And this is the look that they're going to kind of sit in. So this is what they're showing you. You know, even and, and let's just say, you know, it's like dime one four six, right? So they're gonna bring all these linebackers in, you know, something like this is what you're this is what you're faced with, right? What I would recommend you do is go to the shotgun spread, which we have access to that, and it's the play you can run four verticals, um, if you would like. You can you can do different things, but basically just put Tyreek Hill on a fade route. Put your running back on a block route, and then you're gonna basically roll to the right. Now again, this is just one hot route, but watch what happens. If I pass lead him to the far right, you see he's going to be able to typically beat it. And again, the farther I have to go, the more he's going to, you know, it's going to be that even if, if he's even, he's leaving. And again, they have to go, they have to, have to, have to, have to, have to, um, have to run it with this press alignment. So I could easily just streak my, my guy on that outside and you see he's going to be able to, I can use or catch that. And I'll show you some tricks with that uh, in our next video. But that's the gist of how to beat zone from gun doubles out of one of my favorite plays, out of my favorite play in Madden 20, which is Mesh. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the Discord channel. We can chat there. Any questions you have.